isn't trying to support that agenda. So if you weren't buying into that, that's who they would intimidate. So I had some pictures to show you. Uh, here's a picture of the German Gestapo doing like a stop on the side of the road. Okay, in Japan, they would do public executions to anybody who would go against the emperor. So that's just, you know, one way they would intimidate their people. Um, looks like a teenager. Okay, this is this is a Russian gulag. Yes, all those things behind that man are dead bodies. Um, just to show you how how much things piled up there. Um, pretty gruesome image. All right, the uh, another way it looked like he did have a strange smirk on his face. Um, another thing that they did to get control was this excessive use of propaganda. So we've talked about propaganda before in this class in World War One. We particularly looked at um, that one American picture which you guys saw about the mad brute. You guys remember that one? Yeah. Well, it was a, it was a lot more extreme in these totalitarian countries. So there was no other sources of information besides ones that were created by the government, and there would actually be. Um, a, there was a government position, a very powerful one, that was in charge of propaganda. They'd be the head of propaganda. And this job would create all, or kind of be in charge of coming up with all the, the media, all the entertainment, everything that people use, used or looked at, read about in that country, would be approved by the government. So, if you're, if, so for example, and you'll see some more of this when we um, move on from the notes. Um, one of those horrible ideas, right, if you think about Nazi Germany, that Hitler wanted to push was the anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish propaganda. You'll see some examples from that before, but that propaganda wasn't just, here's a poster on the wall, okay? It was the top movies in the movie theater all had the same anti-Semitic messages. They even like children's board games were anti-Semitic. The villains in it would be Jewish. So they went really to the point where there was no way, no media that you were interacting with that didn't have the messages the government wanted to push. Right, so they considered the Jews as villains? Yeah. Hitler wow. did. That was his whole message. That's why the Holocaust why happened. The Holocaust it was his personal beliefs. Okay, uh, the last thing is they would target the youth uh, so if you think about the youth, targeting the youth, it does take a little bit longer. However, think about even people your age and older, right? If there's a totalitarian leader, okay, you're all to the point now, you could sit there and you'd hear what they're saying and you'd be like, this is ridiculous, I'm not following this person, okay? But if you were to start brainwashing a six-year-old, okay, and they've been brainwashed for a couple years, they're going to start believing that information. Then after about 15 years, when that group is now the, you know, moving into leadership roles in the country in their 20s, they've been brainwashed from the time they were very young. So the idea of targeting the youth was a big deal because it created basically an entire generation of loyal um, subjects of the state. Uh, and the it would be much tougher to do that with adults. With adults, they're basically doing doing it mostly with intimidation and fear tactics. You're afraid of the Gestapo kicking your door down or the black shirts, you know, uh, finding out that you have some anti-government set sentiments. Um, so with the youth, they knew that they could actually get them to believe some of the messages much easier. Uh, and this was also done in schools. So the whole curriculum would be developed by the government. So in your classes, um, you might have different, you might learn about different things that might may or may not be true, but if it supported the government's message, then they would want to keep that in the curriculum. Oh. What is it called? What? The theory. Never mind, let me not. Never mind. Can I move forward? Wait. <coughs> So from based off these three things, that's how the countries really got out of control. Um, a combination of fear, um, propaganda, and then these youth camps really changed things. You guys ever seen the movie The Sound of Music? Yeah. yeah. So you know um, 
when I can't remember her name, but the the teenager girl who was dating that guy the who Nazi went off. Up, yeah, he went. He goes off to Nazi camp and comes back, and she goes to talk to him, and he's like this crazy new person. That was kind of like the idea of these camps. They, they would. They pretty much brainwashed him. Yes. Nice. So anyway, here's a here's a picture from Mussolini's Italy. This was a march in Rome. What's interesting about the kids in this picture? <laughs> Guns. They all are holding rifles. Come back to the yeah, kids. And they are. Like an but they. I know. Quiet. Quiet. So, once again, targeting the youth, emphasizing the importance of the military. Um, and then I want to show you a couple other things here. So, this is Nazi Germany. Um, and this is actually one of your sources for when you guys go to that second part. You have this on page three. Right? So the children are reading a book called, titled The Poisonous Mushroom. Okay? And it's a children's book. Um, and it's hard for you to maybe see on the screen. Maybe you could see it better on your screen. Um, but it's actually, the, the picture here has a face on it. Um, that's intended to be a Jewish man who's like half mushroom, half person. Um, so they were even targeting children's books. One of the pages um, from that book is up here on the screen. It says, uh, it says the sign there says Jews are not wanted here. Um, so once again, kids are reading this from a young age and kind of learning right, that you know, there's certain things like this nice area along the river that is reserved for people who are not Jewish. And you could tell how they dehumanized the Jewish people in that picture, um, making them almost look non-human. Okay, so that's some of the tactics that you would see even in things like children's books.